Hello, my name is Megan and I am from the YouTube channel Insomniac Stream. Today's video is going to be a transformation into Five-Eyed Quincy. He has one of the best drawn on smiles in the game, so he's pretty perfect for this kind of illusion makeup. There are a few things you will need to complete this look, so let's just jump into it and get started. You will need some water activated face paints, a glue stick and liquid latex, a white and yellow cream makeup, a black eyeshadow, some setting powder, and various sized brushes. First things first, gotta get the hair ready for a bald cap. I like to slick mine back with gel for all of the baby hairs and then pin it in the back. A bald cap is not necessary for this look, it just makes the illusion a little stronger. I like to use spirit gum to glue down the edges of the bald cap and then I use about three layers of latex to help blend the seam line. Always make sure if you're going this route to do a test patch for the latex and spirit gum on your arm before applying to your face just to make sure you don't have a reaction to it. Then, just before doing the layers of liquid latex around the seam line, I made sure to block down my brows by running a glue stick over them a couple of times. Latex will adhere to hair, so you want to make sure they are coated with the glue so you don't accidentally pull out some of your brow hairs. Then here you can see I'm just going through with those few layers of liquid latex along the seam line just to kind of help blend it down and so it's not as noticeable once the makeup starts going on top. Make sure you give enough time for the latex to dry. It will go clear when it is all dry and then just powder it down to remove any tackiness that might be left over. From here, I took a light colored eye pencil and used it to sketch out the shapes of where Quincy's features will be. Some of the hardest ones being the eyes on top of your own. So it helps to just look straight at a mirror for this and kind of get an idea of how the illusion will work from a straight on point of view. I of course was also looking at reference photos of Quincy's design to get an idea of how to draw the mouth on. I kind of used his mouth from his earlier evolution so he was a little bit happier and then used the eyes from some of his later evolutions just to get an idea. To start filling in Quincy's body, I took a water activated yellow face paint. I applied thin even layers here so that I could go all the way around the edges and then I could also be sure to build up the color a bit. Water activated face paints can be layered on top of each other as long as they are just thin light layers and you don't pull up the work that you've already laid down. To get the lighter yellow color that goes on the center of his face, I found it easier to mix a white and yellow cream makeup until I got the exact shade that I wanted. I just used a synthetic brush to apply the cream so I would have better control and could line the edges of the mouth and eyes a little bit easier. I did leave the small areas around the eyes clear for now just so I could go in with the white first and fill in the light yellow after. Then, with a white water activated face paint, I started filling in these circles that will make up Quincy's eyes. The one along the bridge of the nose is probably one of the trickiest since you have to try and make it look like a perfect circle from the front. So again, this part is really useful to just be staring straight ahead at a mirror and if you need to, you can even take pictures as you go just to see how the eyes are sitting and lining up. I use that same white to start filling in the teeth that I had kind of sketched out for myself for Quincy's mouth. There's still a lot of leeway here to reshape and design the teeth. If you find that you either want them bigger or smaller, this is where you can kind of play with them. And then taking a red water activated face paint, I just filled in all of the area that was left alone from the white. Jumping into the black face paint, this is where the illusion really starts to work, especially if you have a black backdrop like I do. I went ahead and applied the black all the way around my head and the circle of Quincy's body. And then taking a small liner brush, I started using the black to create the outlines around all of his features and make them really stand out. First by going over the mouth, again, trying to make sure that, that line is really straight in the mirror that I was looking at. And then adding the little smirk lines at the very side of his smile. I also outlined the teeth just so that they would stand out and not get as lost against the red. If you go slow and just take your time with doing all of the fine little line work, it's a lot easier to make the straight lines and not have them wobble or shake on you too much. I quickly just drew out and filled in his little antenna with the exact same black. And then I also made sure to add the little stripes that he has along his body, just along the very side of my face. And then jumping into probably one of the trickiest parts is to fill in the pupils of Quincy's eyes. You also want to make sure that you are outlining those very tops of them because his design does have that kind of definition along the top of the eyes and it will also help separate them from each other. As Quincy evolves, his pupils do actually get a bit smaller, so you can either go for a small pupil shape or a lot larger. I find the larger the pupil, it's a bit of a cuter feel, so I made his eyes kind of big so that he was a little bit more adorable to me. Definitely take your time and take pictures when doing the ones that are right on top of your own eyes. And then when you are happy with them, I just added a little bit of shading to the mouth with a black eyeshadow. 
This just helped better define the teeth and give a little bit more dimension to Quincy's mouth. And then the last thing I did was something that I almost forgot to do, but it was to add the little white reflections to Quincy's pupils. And for this, I just used the water activated face paint once again. And then hopefully by the end of it, you will have a pretty convincing Quincy illusion makeup. You can of course add as many eyes as you want to this look if you're recreating it since he seems to just accumulate them as he evolves, but this was my take on a Quincy face paint. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to let us know down below and of course take a moment to subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel which is the one you are watching right now. If you want to see some more fun and creative makeup tutorials, please feel free to check out my channel, Insomniac Stream. Thank you very much for watching, and we of course will see you next video.